been an entertainment to us with his random actions and outbursts. Taylor has always been independent. Even when he was little, I'm sure at times he thought that he was the older brother. And although you couldn't even keep clothes on him for the longest time, <laughs> he has become an honest, loyal, hardworking young man. Taylor has always been determined to do things his own way. From his leadership skills in the FFA to his hard work and dedication he puts into everything he does, he always shows confidence and positivity, and that's what makes Taylor Taylor. He has such a strong passion for the FFA, and that passion has made him into the funny, happy-go-lucky, independent, caring young man that he is today. Oh, there's so much to say about Taylor, as you guys already know. He was one of my first friends when I moved to this state. Um, I have very many uh, memories of us going to the ag barn, feeding animals, bothering Mama Kelly, um, and driving around Buffalo, because what else do you do in that town? <laughs> yeah. But without a doubt, Taylor is a natural-born leader. He's selfless and will do anything for anyone. Now, at times, he can be really stubborn, but you just got to set him in his place. <laughs> FFA is one of Taylor's biggest passions, and I know that serving you guys and the state is to fulfill one of his biggest dreams. We're so proud of you, Taylor. So I'm pleased to announce, or introduce, the man, the myth, the legend, your, oh, your state <laughs> sentinel, Taylor West. Is it the best teacher, the best athlete, or even the best friend? When I was little, I wanted to be the world's best rancher. I'd wake up in the morning, grab every truck and trailer I could find out of my toy box, and build the world's most amazing ranch. Now this ranch may have been a little unrealistic, seeing that my house was my entire bed. But I didn't care how unrealistic it was. And I definitely didn't care when my brothers told me that I couldn't play anymore if I didn't stop picking up my truck and trailer instead of driving it on the roads he claimed he worked so hard to build. <laughs> or I couldn't have a private helicopter because it didn't match the rest of the toys. I didn't care what my brother's opinions were of my perfect ranch. All that mattered to me was that I believed it was the best in the world. When I wasn't with my trucks and trailers, I was with my cousin. <laughs> Either playing Revolutionary War, where we tried to defeat the British in his backyard, <laughs> or we were playing our favorite game, Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> We'd fight off unwanted company in order to protect the most valuable item, Jack Sparrow's compass, which in fact was a rock. <laughs> we held this item, just like the movie, to the utmost importance. It led us to each destination and eventually to the end of the game where we defeated Captain Barbosa, just past his mom's garden. <laughs> Where's your compass leading you? Where's it pointing you to go? Just finishing my third grade year, my compass pointed me in a direction that I did not expect. My parents told me that we'd be moving to Buffalo. I'd have to leave my friends, my family, and the only place I cared about at the time. I'd have to leave the endless green pastures, the long hillside of pine trees, and the most peaceful place on earth. 
The breath of fresh air is something I thought would never fill my nose. My dream slowly shattered of being who I wanted to be because I was being taken, a pl- taken away from a place that meant so much. But I was wrong to think that just because I lived somewhere else that my passions weren't a part of who I was. Through my middle school years, I realized that being a rancher wasn't necessarily something I wanted to do, but I still loved agriculture, and I still had a passion for it. It doesn't matter where you're from, and it doesn't matter where you're at right now. You are who you are, and that is special. No one can change who you are. I grew up with an alcoholic father who was never around to be a real dad. I thought that I would be a failure because I didn't have the dad everyone else did. I didn't have the dad that would take me hunting or fishing or do the things fathers and sons usually did. I thought that I would be worth nothing simply because of who my father was. But I soon realized that no one defined who I was, and no one can define who you are. My dad did not decide who I was going to be. I started using my dad's example to push myself to be better and to push myself to be the greatest I could be. I stopped fighting where my compass was telling me to go and started listening to where it was pointing me. Don't let those negative people change who you are. And don't let those people define who you are going to be. Once I accepted me for me, I realized who my true friends were. Instead of having a lot of fake friends who always had me asking, who is always going to be there when I need them? Who is someone that I can be honest with? I had a few best friends. My best friend Blake is one of those friends. I know Blake will always be there for me when I need him. And he will always, and I will always be there for him when he needs me. Who are those people in your lives? Who are those people that you can go talk to about anything, that you can be honest with and be yourself around? Keep those people close to you because they play a vital role in where your compass is leading you. Never change who you are to please somebody else. The minute you sacrifice, the minute you change who you are to please others is the minute you sacrifice your happiness. No one can change who you are. You are perfect. You are amazing. And no matter where you are, Wyoming FFA, follow your compass.